All right, so now we're going to import the extra island, and we're going to put it over here somewhere. And uh, to do that, we're going to import it like this, like we usually did before. But new land, new land, new land. Again, if you don't get that reference, I'm sorry for you in many, many ways. Uh, that reference, in case you want to know, is from Guild Wars 2, for future reference. It's when she discovers new land. Documents and you. So, as you can see, 2033, perfect fit. Uh, no real issues. And that's all we're going to do. We're just going to bring it in. Huh. And as you can see, it literally came out perfect. Look at that. So that high detail um, ray stuff just looks amazing. Look at it. This is why I use World Creator. This is why I love World Creator because it just does not fail you. Now, what do we do next? How do we make this into a background mountain? Well, that's simple. We go up here and we export selected as FBX. So we're going to put this in documents as jungle. FBX 2018 vertex color and export. Now this will bring it out, turn it into an object. And then uh, if we want it, we could use this as a high poly object to our low poly object, but we would need Substance Painter to do that. And I don't have that installed, but I do have Steam open. And it's only going to take probably a minute or two to download. So I'll do that. Now we're going to need to turn this into a low poly. Okay. I believe I installed Maya. Look at those hills. Look at that. And there's our other island. So let's go take a look at what everything looks like from that other island. Let's do it that way. I mean, look, it just fits right in. Let's stand over here on the beach. That's perfect. That just brings out the scene completely. So we're going to go, if this stops being laggy anytime soon, because when you boot up Maya, in case you don't know, it's one of the laggiest things ever because it has to load all these plugins and it's just filthy. So we name this Jungle FBX. Or apparently go not do what I wanted to do. Uh, importing this is going to be uh, uh, complicated because it's got to import the landscape. And that's a lot of polys, so you just have to bear with me. This is going to take just a bit. Now, either it imported it really small or it imported it really big. Uh, however it is, we're going to have to um, adjust the settings with the camera attribute editor, which you actually have to click, click twice. And in here somewhere yeah just add a few hundred zeros to that where is the damn thing okay whatever There it is. So this is what it looks like once we exported it. And we're not going to, we're just going to click on it, okay? And we're going to go to mess and we're going to reduce it. Now, by how much depends. We want to get it as low poly as we can. Don't worry, we are going to be high polying it with a normal map. 
and right now things are about to get laggy. Just bear with me. Come on, you could do this, princess. Come on. Oh, it might crash. It might crash. Oh no, I might have to bring it in a ZBrush, which means I have to install ZBrush. Uh, I don't want to have to install ZBrush. Oh, how much RAM is it taking right now? You guys probably want to know. Ha! <sighs> and it's rising. No. Just, just, thank you. Okay. So. That hurt a part of my soul. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go to details since. Ow. And we're going to do this. Um. We're just going to turn it down. Okay, so when we get closer. It will gain all of its polys back. Well, it should. So there, when we're close, it's high poly. When we're away, it's low poly but it still keeps its normal map on. Even though we didn't apply one, it will still look like that. Now what we want to do is make it 600% bigger, 600% wider, 600% taller. Why? For this. Ready? It's going to be awesome. All right, so now that's become a really big mountain. So now from here, that looks like a really big land. And if we wanted to, we could also rotate it, send it back some to right about there. If we wanted like the clouds to go over it, but we don't because that just looks cheap. Like, look, from a distance, that looks pretty damn good. So that is low poly. Like, literally, from here, that is ridiculously low poly. Look at that. Now, if we wanted to, we could bump up the poly just a bit by doing maybe 1.2. No, that doesn't affect anything. See that? So that's about as high poly as you'd want it to go, but we could put it right here. And uh, look at that. Now it has some of its shape to it, right? We could put it at 1.4, give it all of its shape, because technically it's far away enough that it will not really affect performance. But let's just put it at that, because honestly, it looks pretty good for how far away it is. And it's got a lot of lighting detail on it as well. Okay, so with World Creator, you're able to create separate islands, bring in them, uh, set them as low poly as you just saw. And my mouse is showing, so you did see everything. And create more atmosphere for what you want going on. And I hope that's what you want because I've never done background mountain type stuff before really I've always had pre-made stuff and now now we have uh, glorious glorious made stuff great and now to show off the glory of this mountain we will angle the Sun we can find the Sun angle then Sun rotation, so Z axis, 
No, this gag just doesn't work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now let's find a glorious spot to stare at this. I think we're going to go from over here again. Now there's another thing that we could do before we even leave this scene, which I just wanted to bring up as quickly as possible. What if this area would become another biome? Oh well, that's a video for the next episode. See you guys. But don't forget to have a great day. Uh, if you definitely enjoyed this content, which you guys have been asking for for a long time, just like the video hit that bell button to be notified for when I make another weird video series about weird things that you guys have always asked for. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this. I'm off. Have a great day.